sub guys how you guys doing um welcome back so on this video here what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you guys the remake of miss Prue featuring black diamond and maluma vector uh the title of the song is price to pay so i'll just show you how i made how i remade the beat i'm assuming um the beat is actually originally made by uraf atm that's my best case but uh, i need so let's just i'll play that song i'll play the beat out for you guys you guys take a listen and then i'll explain everything afterwards so this is how the beat actually sounds sorry man Yep, so that's how the beat sounds. That's how I made the beat. Um, some key things um to look out for that I will mention that you just have to note if you want to try and make the beat yourself. The 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 the, the, the keys or the chords you have to have, you have to have the strum effect so that they sound almost the way that he made them sound. Otherwise, without the strum effect, this is how they're gonna look. If you don't know what the strum effect is, just look it up online. Read read up on it. But this is basically it. It's very easy to make. You just make a make up a code and then highlight it like this, and then come here, tools, and then strum. Then you just change things around here and there. Um, that's that. And then your melody is like this. It looks like this. Uh, what else is there? The hats. There's a trick in the in the in the hats, man. He used the closed hat, and then the trick is just some in, in the spacing of the hats. You know, it creates that effect, that rolling effect that, yeah, I found it a bit tricky to make, but I eventually got it. Initially, I was struggling to make it, so that's why I'm pointing that out. And then the baseline, baseline, I'm not too sure if, it's not, a, it's not, a, not even a, effect, a case of I'm not too sure. It's not like this, not exactly like this. The keys might be correct, but it might not necessarily be like this the whole, throughout the beats. It changes around here and there. Sometimes it goes higher and lower as well, you know. Um, but I got lazy, man. I was like tired of trying to figure out the chords and the melody. So by the time I got to the baseline, I was like, "Aye, nah, Joe, I'm tired now." So I just made, I just made this baseline here as close as made it sound as similar as possible to the one that he made, and then that's that. So if you want to, if you want the FOP, check the description box. Then you can edit the baseline and make it sound as close to the original as it is, as you want it to be. But that's basically it, man. And what else is there? Yeah, that's how I made the beat. That's that's what it looks like. In terms of this part here, it's just an automation automation clip. I was adjusting the volume and stuff because what happens is when the beat starts off in the original song, it starts off with this pattern here. But I want to introduce each sound one by one. But it starts off with this one here as well. And then there's a rise somewhere in between. I never put the rise in. There's a rise here and then the beat drops. So when the beat drops here, this part here, this part here, your 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 your, your chords and stuff. The volume goes down a bit and then the focus becomes more on the melody being taught and then every now and again when you like remove some instruments and stuff bring back the volume up on this so that's what i did here as you can see like when this comes in and every, all the instruments are complete take the volume down a bit yana for the chords and then when i take out the hats and the snare and everything else i bring it up because there's enough space for for it and stuff like that but that's basically it man so yeah man um like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, follow, WhatsApp as well, all that is there. FOP in the description box. Hit me up on WhatsApp if you have any questions, if you want anything, blah, blah, blah. The number is 073-526-1752. I know it by head now, guys. So, yeah, it's safe. So, yeah, man, um, peace.